at the Pledge of Allegiance. After a two-year hiatus, the Crete Memorial Day Parade Committee is back at work. Chuck Eccles said he'd like to do it again. Organizing the parade to honor those who have served and given it all. The Crete Memorial Day Parade has been an important part of the community for decades. Here's what it looked like almost 40 years ago in 1984. And it's all made possible by a small group of dedicated people and donations from the public. There are a few added challenges this year, though. Andy Schott is not going to be involved this year. Regular host of the Memorial Day service, Andy Schott, is unable to attend this May 30th. We're going to have to come up with uh, our speaker. But the bigger issue. The cost of uh, the, the flags that the Boy Scouts have handed out in the past has almost doubled. The increased cost of items normally used for the event. The prices went from around $400 to $761. Donations will be a challenge. We rely heavily on donations to make this special. We have to find donors for water and snacks, flags, flyers, those types of things do cost money. Any way that anyone can help, um, obviously it's always great to have new volunteers. Everyone should be looking for a donation letter to arrive in their mailbox. The important thing, though, is that the parade is back, and with it, a few new faces, such as fellow veteran Josiah. Perhaps he could take over for us old-timers. Perhaps. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who, along with others, can help ensure that the Crete Memorial Day Parade will continue for decades to come. Honoring the men and women that have sacrificed their lives for us, I think is incredibly important. We, we owe a great debt, and the very least we can do is recognize them and remember them.